Alright guys, welcome to part 2 of, I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet, Nagash model reviews even. Um, yeah, so this one we have the new models for uh, the Spirit Horse. I'm just going to zoom in a bit more to the side so we get a proper look. Um, and these are, like just very little plastic on these, you know, but they're so awesome. They're so much better than the old Spirit Horse models. It's the, the difference is so crazy. Like I'll show you the other ones. These are the old Spirit Horse models, and to me, these are just guys with bed sheets wrapped around them. They're just ridiculous looking. If I wanted to do a Spirit Horse and I had to buy these guys, I'd just make me own. I wouldn't even care what I do. Is I just put like an airy green wash over some model and I just use it instead. And um, yeah, but these guys, these are really, really cool. Um, you know, and the bases, I suppose they have to add something into it because, what's the price on these guys? 21 euro. And pretty much there's like, fuck all plastic on them. Like there's nothing in these, I can imagine these are so light. But, um, yeah, like yeah, the guy in the bottom, I'm going to zoom a bit more, just for the bases. You have the skeleton coming up through the ground, and it's like you don't know if just the spirits are coming from the skeleton or just like coming through them, but it's still pretty cool. Um, you have I don't know, like a small tombstone thing with like the candles that are nearly all melted on them. You have another skeleton with the horse coming out of it, a little tombstone as well. This one's pretty cool, the skeleton is nearly fully out all together, and like the spirits just come tearing up out of them. And these spirits, they're coming and they mean business because look at this guy. How often do you see a ghost with a knife? I'm going to zoom back out a little bit now. Because the screen's all funny. You know, this guy up in the back has a knife. This guy here has a big curved knife just like Manfred's spear. Um, and there's another guy here. There's two guys on this one. This guy has like a jagged edge on his knife and the guy over here. Now, when these spirit hosts come, they mean business, they're going to get you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to zoom back out for this one. There's the 360 view. So they're not, like, there's not a whole lot in them. But if you're looking for something like a spirit horse, this is what they're meant to look like, pretty much. I really do like these. And I pretty much, if I did want to extend my... VC army, I would definitely buy these. Like I like look at the jaw on them, the big long jaw. The way it stretches down. You know, the great. Let's have a look at the box. Yeah, these new boxes look pretty cool as well. I haven't bought any newer stuff with these type of boxes yet. So uh, yeah, that's a spirit horse. Um, I don't know anything about the fluff on these, so I'm going to try and go into it. So um, the next one, more gas Harbingers. Harbingers? These are the ones that are up, yeah, pre-order for pre-order today. I just got an email about it um, a couple of hours ago and I didn't even see any rumours about these guys. A uh, little bit of fluff on the bottom is these guys were sent to kill Nagash and when they got killed he resurrected them like this. I'll just zoom into this part. Try and get as close to the camera with the screen going all funny. Um Yeah these you know what they're I do like them, but their pose I don't like. Like you have the like all these new models have all these spirit holes. Not that I complain them but you know, I thought maybe these guys might have something a little bit different. Um, like this guy's pose is okay. You know, I'd, I'd like to pose them a little bit different. They kind of look a little bit awkward. Like who poses like that just holding two swords? Just straight up like that. You know, just a little funny thing like that. I really like the wings. The wings are really cool. Um, you know, like the... 
like the tattered wings this guy has as well that's what undead wings are meant to look like I know the Vargas ones that I just did they're just like they're nearly all smooth but these guys are but like Vargas aren't undead but these guys are and the wings really represent that really well Um, let's have a close up look at these guys uh, yeah that's a pretty big head it's kind of awkward look at it but yeah look at the inside of them is all made up of like the skulls just like you see on the other guys on their mounts um, so that's pretty much where the undead is going now everything's made up of souls on the inside just the swords the swords are pretty cool they have like the face on it um, I think I don't think that's meant to be like a spirit coming out. I think it's just like maybe it's like I don't know. I use like a magic weapon, and that's like the spirit inside of the weapon that the undead use. There's like a side profile picture, which is pretty. You know, it's pretty cool. I'm a bit mixed with the heads. They look big and bulky, but from this angle, they look like there's nothing in it. Let's have a better look here. Let's have a look at this guy. Yeah, I like the way they're like they're big, like mostly guys. Like I like the crypt horrors. You don't see the crypt horrors that much, but I like them. Like they're the big, strong guys. Well, tough. I think the Vargas have the higher strength, and the crypt horrors have the higher toughness. So, like the big, tough guys look pretty cool. So, um, how much are these guys? Forty-seven euro. Yeah, they're, they're really, they are, they are nice. Like, look at the knees. They're really well designed, I have to say. Although there's nothing on the base. It's a little bit of a, of a coffin door. That's about it. You know, I can imagine people pretty much easily just rearranging the paws. And off I got these, I would, like, change the arms a bit. Um, I don't think there's any weapons options. Not that I've seen, anyway. Well, let's have a look at the 360. Yeah, so just pause that while it's loading up. Zoom in a little bit. Um, yeah, the 360 view really does help it a bit. You get a proper look. Um, let's have a look at the back of this guy. He has a little bit of a tail. And you see all the skulls on the inside. Not behind the spine and everything. I really do like them wings. I think they're brilliant. I really like the get a set of them off eBay from a bit seller. Oh no! Look at this bit of the sword. If I'll zoom in the very bottom of the base of it. I'll turn this down. You know, you see the shape of the head on it as well, like the mountain behind the, the nose. Like I didn't get to spot that in the other view. And you get a better look at it on the other side. That's pretty awesome. You know, they're really putting detail into their weapons as well. You know, just little small things like that. You know, and you could really do proper effects on that. Yeah, you could like... Like, what I would think in straight away is... Like, you just... Just the way it is pretty much, build it up from like... Like, dark maybe along the sword. And then the really bright colour for the face will work really well. Yeah, so that's, I'm not going to stay much longer on these. More gas, harbingers they are. Um, and imagine these other guys are the dual key, like you can make one or the other with them. These are the Morgast Ar Archai or Archai. And these guys are, let's have a look at the fluff a little bit. Nagash's Elite Guard and the greatest of the Morgast. Ooh, yeah, so I don't know anything about the Morgast. I don't know whether they're a new thing completely or what. Um, yeah, so what is it? They're elite guard. So these guys are pretty high up in the army then. Let me see what the audio oh, guys will probably have a little bit of a uh, more of a tech kind of tactic to them. Um, with a two-handed weapon. Now this guy, his pose is a little bit... 
It's a bit funny. Looks like he's leaping up. You know, but I can't help looking at the at the spirits in the background. But you know what? It looks pretty cool. This guy. Yeah, I changed his paws up a bit. He looks a bit funny. Um, let's have a look at the weapons if you can get the better pictures. So this must be the first guy then. Get a better look at the head as well. These guys look like they have way more armor. Let me have a look. Yeah, these have all like chest plates and everything. And anyway, all along the arms as well. So these guys are probably the more expensive ones. Um, better look at the... the the shoulder plates there. Shoulder plates, not plates. Um, yeah, and there you see more detail on the weapons as well. Like, I, it's, I think I, I'm just going to call it what that is, like a halberd, maybe. But it obviously has its own twist on it, like like a magic. Could, could be ma imagine if all these could be magic weapons. I think they would. And, yeah, and look at the knee pad here as well. Has like a skull on it. It's, that's, I really like that on him. That's awesome. And all the skulls on the inside. Um, yeah, there's two of these in the box. Let's have a look at the 360 picture. I'll pause it. Hit 992 on it. There we go. Um, oh, calm down, calm down. Yeah, I see. I can't help looking at the spirits going up along it. I know this one that looks like it's probably mid air. Not from that angle, it looks pretty cool. It probably makes no sense to use because I can't see the base on it. Yeah, I but the the weapon he has is awesome. Big long faces in the in the shaft of it, and then like the metal piece at the end of it, and the big long blade on it. You know, these guys look like they're going to do plenty of damage and they're heavily armoured as well. So. So, and these guys will probably have the... Well, I imagine they will have the... Fly special rules and stuff. have the wings. These guys, I think, could really do damage. I'm tempted to get a box of these. They look pretty badass. Like, I know the effect they're probably going for is... To make him look like they're in flight or jumping up or something. But I could easily, you could easily just take them spirits off it. And have them stand in there with the wings either. I think that's what you'd rather go for now at the moment. So yeah. So I'm going to leave it here from here. I think I've rambled on enough tonight. About these. I don't know if there's going to be much more. Um, undead. Or kind of vampire counts guys. Uh, there's rumors of I think it's lizard men stuff or lizard men um, what do you call that guy the leader um, oh, whatever it is meant to be a lizard man thing anyway so um, oh, these guys have three sprues as well it's very little on the sprues yeah there's some lizard man thing is meant to be the rumor for the next part of it. So um yes, yeah, so let me know what you guys think of these ones. We have the spirit horse, we have the Morgast, Harbingers, Harbingers, yeah, and the Morgast Archai or Ar yeah Archai I think it's pronounced. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know which one is your favorite. If I had to pick between the Morgast, I'd probably. Oh, who would I go for? No, not if I had to pick. I'd pick these guys. But I'd have to change the pause to at least have them look like these. I prefer the way these guys are paused. Especially this guy. This guy, this guy looks pretty cool because he's leaping forward a bit. So it looks not as bad. But damn, them weapons, them two hand weapons are awesome. Big fucking swords. Yeah, so I'm going on long enough. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, which ones do you like? Which ones do you not like? Um, let me know in the comment section below. If any of you have got these by the time it comes out. Uh, let me know what they're like. 
and uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.